Hello, I'm Rami Akilan, a professor at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem and the chairman of the Institute for Medical Research Israel Canada of the Faculty of Medicine. I'm a cancer biologist in training. However, seven years ago, we started working on neurodevelopmental diseases. For more than 20 years, we intensively worked on a tumor suppressor gene known as Vox. It was discovered in 2015 that Vox is linked to genetic epilepsy. My lab aimed to model Vox deficiency using mouse models and use pluripotent stem cells and brain organoids to understand the cellular and molecular function of Vox toward this epileptic uh, encephalopathies. And we had very interesting outcome uh, led us to design a possible therapy for patients with Vox mutations based on what we know as gene therapy. So what is gene therapy? Gene therapy is a method by which we introduce a normal gene into a specific cell, hoping that we can normalize the function of the mutant gene that the cells have. Using adeno-associated viruses, this is what we call AAV. This is a flu cold virus uh, that we take all the harmful part of it. Then we introduce our gene and use this AAV as a vehicle to deliver our gene, our good gene, our normal gene into the cell of interest. So using this strategy of AV works, we were successful in treating mice having the mutation of Vox and developing epilepsy. This way, these mice were normalized. Then we also used these AAV Vox in order to normalize the deficits in brain organoids isolated uh, or derived from uh, patients with worry syndrome. This success led us now to take this uh, proof of concept into uh, a company, uh, Mazi Therapeutics, with whom we are working to develop this for a clinical trial to treat uh, worried children. With this success, we started uh, recently working on additional genes that are associated with neurodevelopmental diseases, uh, such as CTNNB and DLG4. DLG4 is a synaptic gene that is deficient in what we know as DLG4 synaptopathy or Shine syndrome. A mutation in one allele leads to impairment in the synapses and in the communication between the neurons, resulting in a wide spectrum of uh, symptoms. So our project aims to better understand the DLG4 cellular and molecular function using uh, a wide variety of mutations that are isolated from patients and kiddos of uh, uh, DLG4 synaptopathy. Using these cells, we will differentiate them into neurons, into these functional units in order to check for the uh, communication and uh, synapses between these neurons. And then after we have a better understanding of these functions, we developed a novel uh, AAV DLG4 vector that we uh, plan to use as a platform for gene therapy. So we'll be testing this AAV DLG4 uh, in these differentiated neurons and in collaboration with other labs in brain organoids, um, and then later with mice in order to um, see if we can reverse the phenotypes of uh, DLG4-associated uh, 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 deficiencies. Uh, with success of this uh, project, we are paving the road to uh, a new treatment for DLG4 uh, synaptopathy and Shine syndrome uh, kids. Thank you.